What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys, I wanted to share something with you, something that I have started tracking a little bit more recently. And this is just a tool. None of this is financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do or to buy in or to sell or whatever. But it's something that I look at if I'm trying to figure out where the cell walls for DEC are going to be. Because we all think, or at least hope, that DEC is going to go back to PEG at some point, but we also know that especially when DEC gets low, there's going to be some kind of demand driver, whether it's the, the great burning event, whether it's land, maybe guild buildings in the future, who knows what could come in. Um, and we've seen DEC actually do have, have a nice little pump over the last couple of days. So where the site I'm on right now is Tribal Decks. And if you just go to the main, uh, I'll just start from the beginning. So if you if you go to the main page here, if you click, usually I do pools and you'll see like the, the tokens that you can swap if you're familiar with that. But if you want to take a look a little bit more in a detailed manner, you can go to exchange and then we'll type in DEC over here to bring in DEC. And if you change this from candlestick to depth, you can see where some of these massive cell walls are. So for example, what I'm going to do just for reference, let's take, uh, let's take the price of Hive right now is, well, we'll just call it 0.3, right? It's, it's kind of like hovering around that range. So 0.3, and then I'll get my, my calculator out as well. So now we'll go back to tribal decks. And what you can see here is that there is a cell wall. You can see there's a steep cell wall, meaning that if you, if you go to this price of Hive, 0 0.00278 Hive, for example, they are trying to sell, and I, I believe this, I don't know if this is cumulative, um, it may be cumulative, it may be not, but you can see here this number, five, uh, what is this, 5.2 million? Yeah, 5.2 million DEC that are set to be sold. You go a little bit higher than that uh, at the, actually, I think, I think this is cumulative. Oh, no, no, and you can just, you, it is not cumulative, and you can see that it just changed. So at this level, uh, it is 5.2 million, and then here you have nine, no, it is cumulative, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, have, you have 9 million DEC that are going to be sold at 0.2783 Hive. So just to give you a frame of reference for uh, US dollars, since that that's what we all kind of use, let's go to like uh, 0.002783 times 0.3, right? So that that price for DEC, 0 0.00083, or we'll just say 834, 835 splintoshis, that is where there's a massive sell wall, meaning that somebody has an order and there are some people, right, that it's cumulative. So some people may, uh, or not may, some people do have orders in there to sell 9 million DEC, actually more than 9 million DEC. And you can see where this thing absolutely hits a cliff is, or uh, not a cliff, but a wall, uh, is up here at point, uh, oh, and it just changed once again. So point zero zero three zero four hive. So if we do that, point zero zero three zero four hive times point three, boom, 900 splintoshis, nine, 910, 912 splintoshis. So what am I trying to get at here? If we go back to splinter cards, for example, you can see, I'll refresh this again, DEC is starting to dump back down because people realize that we hit that 830 splintoshi wall and now we're probably going to drift back down because whoever was buying uh is, is probably done buying and now the people who bought way lower are selling right to try and take some of that profit thinking that we're going to go lower again so again these are I, i'm not a trader this is not like this is not like expert trading advice and that's not what i'm trying to share this is just for me to get an idea and hopefully share with you guys what the the tools and the things that i look at to get a better idea of where uh, the, the market could potentially be going. Again, I, I didn't even buy a ton of DEC. I'm, I'm not trying to sell a ton of DEC. I'm just trying to see what are the barriers. For me, it's more just a curiosity thing. So once again, it's on Tribal Dex. You can go to the exchange spot. And uh, you know what, what'll be good? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do this separately since I didn't do it ahead of the video. But if people are interested, I can also look at SPS to see where some of those uh, sell walls are. Although I will say at this point, SPS is just too low that we don't we probably wouldn't be able to see from a, from a volume and depth perspective how far SPS would be. So we'll keep this focused on DEC for now and just know that as of now, as of now, the biggest sell wall comes in at about 900, 910 splintoshis or 0 0.00091, right? So when we're, when we're within striking distance of peg or get to that like 10% away from peg, you got 
27 million DEC that is set to be sold. So people are trying to keep the price down or the people who bought it like 700, you know, 730 Splintoshis or 750 Splintoshis or maybe they even bought right, you know, right, right now. They're the ones that are setting this up to sell once we get closer to that level. And, and if you, you got to imagine, I mean, that's not insignificant in terms of a percentage. Again, we're in crypto. So whenever we talk percentages, people always think like, oh, two, three, four hundred percent. Yeah, sure. Whatever. That's fine. Like, I, I, I'm not trying to take anything away from that. But even just going from from point eight to point nine, that's a twelve and a half percent. And if you got, I don't know, ten thousand dollars in there, that's not insignificant amount of money. Right. And so 27 million DEC, 27 million DEC at peg is twenty seven thousand dollars. So, again, I'm, this and I'm not saying it's one person doing this. I'm just saying that there is money to be made. There's opportunity if you, if you have the stomach for the, the volatility that's in there. Again, I, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you to do this. I'm just saying that people are probably making a good amount of money trading DEC whenever we have some kind of FUD hit the market and it drops below 800, drops below 775 or what, you know, 750 and then just trading it on the way back up because those, those 10, 20% or sorry, not 10, 5, 10% uh, percentage gains especially on high where, where there's no transaction fees, you know, that that's actually, that's actually quite significant in terms of, or it could add up over time, but that's all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.